How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video and in today's video guys um, we are here working on the 1970 Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious. This is going to be Dom's Charger so it's the all black one with the hood scoop sticking out the out the hood obviously. Um, we're going to be finishing this up today. We did the supercharged V8 motor in the last video um, and today we're going to be finishing it up with a body getting it painted, getting all the new panels on, making it look good. I realized I could probably pull that off. Um, but yeah, so I am currently doing the suspension, guys. I was like, I'm almost done with it. Um, I'm really, really close, actually. So uh, I almost had the front done, and then we will get going on the back, and then we'll probably do the wheels, too, while we are at it. Um, we grab a cap here. Got to get these spring caps. No, not those caps. Those caps. I'm gonna grab the wishbone shock absorber, two of them. Let me check and see if that's what we pulled from this. Yep. All right, so let's make two springs. And then for the wheels, uh, we're gonna be running 235, 60, 16. Okay. So you just need to grab a pair of 16s, or a set of 16s. Let's see, rims. So we're going to do the charger rims, because I think those ones look very, very, very close to what he had in the uh, movie. What the heck? Dodge? All right, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Uh... The four, this Pagani. Where are our Dodge rims? Oh, there, some of them are. Well, there's those. What about our Viper rims? Oh, there they are. They're down here. Hellcat, Hellcat. The Viper rims are on here somewhere, aren't they? One sec, guys. I'm, got, I'm missing them. I gotta be missing them. There's Dodge. There's the Viper. Okay. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go with the... Oof. I'm not sure. Let me see. Do I have a picture pulled up of what the original one looked like? I don't. Let me get a picture pulled up really quick. Um, there we go. All right, so they're super, super simple rims, actually. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're just going to pick a five-spoke rim. Probably like one of these. And we're going to keep it chrome too. So let me see if there's a chrome one that we can grab actually. No, not really. Alright. We will just go with these ones then. No, where were they? Where were they? Where were they? The mock ones look really good too. Dang it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we'll just go with these ones. Just the retros. So we need four of these at 16. Pull that. And then we were at, was it three or 235 60s? So let's get a pair of sports. Sport tire, sport tire, sport tire. Where is it at? There it is. So grab four of these at 16, 235. We'll bump it up to 245. Give them a little bit thicker and do 65s. All right, now. Let's get all these installed. Uh, so I'm just going to slowly be doing those tires as we go on throughout the video. Uh, mainly because by the time I finish the suspension, hopefully we'll be done with all these. Do you think that's chrome enough, guys? I feel like that's not chrome enough. I might have to actually just paint these straight chrome. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to paint these guys straight chrome. Okay, yeah, we'll just do that real quick. Oh, how do you know? How do we know which one's been painted already? Right. I hope we're doing these right, aren't we? Paint this one. Hopefully, we're not painting the exact same wheel chrome every time. Okay, so let's see if we select one of these as a chrome. It's not. 
All right, well, let's mount one of these tires and see if it looks chrome. Yep, she's definitely chrome. So it looks like it didn't show chrome very well earlier, but it's definitely, definitely chrome. So... Which one is the one that we painted is my question. Here, we'll just install one of these. And then whichever two we have a duplicate of, we know those are the ones that we painted. So I don't want to waste time on these. Okay, so that one we can take. So separate this one. Yep. Yeah, see, there's the difference right there, guys. There's chrome and there's just silver, so... Uh, let's go get this other one painted. Crank that. And paint part. There we go. Now we should be good. Let's just hope that these are all the correct parts. That is definitely not the correct part. Dang it. They make it really difficult. You can't tell which one's the chrome or not, which really, really sucks because there's no way to tell. Okay, give me that. We'll separate. Well, we'll balance the one that's been painted, correct? And we'll separate the one that's been unpainted. Yes. All right. Sorry, guys. I made that way harder than it should have been. All in the strive for excellence and getting these wheels to look good. Just wanted them to be chrome. Alright, there we go. There's still paint everywhere. Now we can get this one mounted and balanced. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so I'll let that finish. Let's pop over here. I can get back to doing what I was doing before. Alright, so we need upper suspension. We can get this double wishbone shock absorber in with our sway bar end link. We have a ton of end links for some reason. I forgot that we bought that many. I don't even remember that. So we need front knuckle axle cover and an upper suspension arm. We can go grab both of those and have them delivered. Upper suspension arm. And then we need the uh, axle cover. So that's what I really like about this game. You don't have to wait any time for deliveries or anything like that. You can just get your parts right away and you've got it. That's one of my, uh, probably my key issues with um, me buying, because when I talked about this in one of the other videos, was be uh, with me buying a truck, rebuilding it, and putting it on the channel um, just because it would take so long, I'm sure, for delivery and everything like that. All right, so let's get this tie rod on and then bam yeah this uh this chrome wheel is pretty uh pretty accurate to what it actually was supposed to be which i am really really happy about uh what else am i missing uh tie rods this one on and then we got the whole front side done go and now oh let me grab this tire actually let me get this one balanced real quick now we just have to do the whole rear which i think the rear leaf string suspensions are usually faster so we get shock b a leaf spring and a leaf spring plate so let's grab those real quick not sock dang it we wanted shock ah Leaf spring plate, leaf spring. 
And let's see how we're doing on our U-bolts. Do we have four? Wow, we lost two. Or three, I mean. What the heck? There we go. Now we should be good. Oh, and here's a question for you guys. For everybody who's stuck around this far. Uh, do you guys prefer... I I'm curious to see what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys like... What's your favorite types of trucks? That's what I'm trying to figure out here, guys. Because I could do a Dodge, a Ford, a Chevy, or maybe even a Toyota, like Tundra or Tacoma. But I'm not sure yet. Um, it's just not, it's not, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just like wondering what you guys prefer. Because I know a lot of people are all about Ford and Chevy. Um, but you know, there's still, there's still a couple other, a couple other brands out there that you could get that are pretty good. Uh, but yeah, no, just leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think because I'm curious. I just want to hear you guys' input on it. Oh, wow. So we still need the uh, brake, another brake shoe and another brake cylinder. Uh, brake shoe. Cylinder. So cylinder. There we go. There's that last one, and then we'll get over here and get this side. I think we have mostly everything purchased, so we should be good. We should just be able to put all these pieces on all together at once. Get our plate. Get the U-bolts. I wish you could always put the uh, rubber bushings in when you put the uh, leaf spring in, kind of like you do with the uh, front, upper, and lower suspension arms. Oh, that's housing B, not C, is it? Housing B. Usually it's C, so I always have, I always buy for the C one. Come on. There we go. Then we're going to need a solid rear drive axle. Yep. And there we go. We are done with the suspension. Uh, I guess I gotta get that last tire on there. And then we'll get the drivetrain hooked up so we can actually move this bad boy. Then we'll do fuel, we'll do exhaust, and then we'll start doing some body stuff. We'll end with the body. All right, let me get this gearbox slapped on here. Oh, we don't have one. Okay. That's the first time in a while we haven't had a uh, gearbox readily available. And then I'll just stator. Jeez, what is wrong with me? All right, we'll get the starter ready to go because I'm pretty sure we're going to need one. I don't think we have one in the in our inventory right now, so Yep, just like I thought. Look like at that. We're still at 2.5 million. Fantastic guys, fantastic. So we got front exhaust pipe, V8 overhead valve, B. So, B. V8 exhaust pipe, V8 overhead valve, B. Uh-uh, doesn't look like we have it. That's okay though, we can pick one up from here. Then uh, I don't know if we need catalysts on this one or not. I'll find out here in a second. There's middle muffler. Ooh, geez. There we go. Alright, it doesn't look like we're going to need a catalyst. We definitely are going to need the middle muffler, though. Alright. These bad boys slapped on. I know there's performance middle mufflers, so that will be beneficial to our power. There we go. Got the drive shafts still? We do. Excess drive shafts too. Alright, there we go. And our drivetrain is hooked up. Go to the fuel tank. 
pop this sucker out of there. We can't even replace fuel tanks. Uh, or can't repair fuel tanks, I mean. So we have to always replace them, which... Good, what, 255 out the window? Since we got a pretty fat discount in the shop right now. Then fuel pump, performance fuel pump. And there we go, guys. That is a uh, pretty good global parts condition. Oh, we're missing, missing some, missing some pieces in the front here. I just realized that's not good. I was gonna say I thought there was gonna be a fan over here. Yeah, we're missing that bottom pulley. I even bought it. Yeah, see. And then that fan. I was gonna say I was like, how do they expect? This thing to run without a radiator fan. This thing's just, just gonna instantly overheat. There we go. Global parts condition at 100%. Global body though, guys, still hurting pretty bad. So let's see. Let's take off everything that we can take off. Take this fender. That's pretty much everything right here. Bill's badge didn't come off. No. No tail lights. No nothing. All right. I mean, she's built right now, everybody. She is. She's good to go and ready to rip, but the body, though, the body's needs some TLC. Okay, so start out with welding this bad boy. All right, there we go. That cleared up all the rust. Then detail the interior. And then that should give us 200s, right? Yep, there we go. Looks like global body condition is literally at 1%, so it couldn't get much worse than it is right now. All we really need to do, though, guys, is add on parts. All right, there we go. Yeah, these parts will, will give it what she needs. All right, so let's go buy all the windows and lights. So... Just regular body shops that we need to look at. Got our headlights. Boy, that is a lot of stuff to buy. Bought everything but three parts, so. And yes, guys, we are going to be painting this black, so don't worry, we're not leaving it this weird baby blue. Robin blue, I think is what it is. Ninety percent. So is that just the last five percent going to be uh, plates? It's going to be plates. All right, where are we going to do this? This will be a California plate. Let's do California. I don't. I don't remember where Fast and Furious is usually shot in, but I'm going to go with California because that's usually a pretty safe bet. Uh, right here. There we go. All righty. And close the hood. How does it look? It's not bad. It kind of sticks out a little weird because, you know, it like cuts through the hood, but it's not bad at all. Um, let's get this thing painted black. We're going to go like dark as night. It's this thing. This thing's going to be mean. Okay, so. And brightness is gone. Let's see here. What black do we want to do? This chrome black looks, it looks really good because it highlights all the extra. Any livery? Oh, stripes. Oh yeah, we don't want to do any stripes or livery actually. All right, let's do this, see how it looks. Ooh, it is pretty good. Super shiny due to like the chrome finish on it, but it's black. I mean Yeah, she's looking good. All right, let's pop the hood. Let's step inside see if she starts We haven't started it up yet There we go 
All right. Next thing is going to be dino time, boys and girls. Dino time. So, what is it? It was like 380-some stock. I'll check it real quick. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I think it just told us what it was going to be. 537 is what I think it's going to be for horsepower. We just got to get all the dino to tune it up. Oh, what? No way. We made a thousand horsepower. Nine. That's basically a 90% gain. It was an 89.14. So this thing is definitely like Dom's charger from Fast and Furious. This thing has got power. Holy crap. And it's all, it's all hidden pretty well too. Like, yeah, it's charger and everything, but... That's like you really look into it or you get under the hood and you can see the scoop, but this thing has got some power I hope you guys enjoyed this one though because I did so We have officially completed because I know a ton of you've been asking for it. We've officially completed Dom's charger from fast and furious uh, It's like one of the very first uh, Movies that has this one in there guys, but it is a mean mean car. It looks great So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far uh, if you did Hit that like button, subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed yet. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but I think we're we'll doing a couple other builds like this soon. I just got to find some stuff that we're going to do. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed, and I should see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.